Employees of the Royal Bank of Canada in St. Lucia are reportedly engaged in a silent protest as they await the outcome of prolonged negotiations between their trade union and management. The parties are set to meet again on October 13th. The National Workers Union, which represents workers, has accused the bank of delaying the completion of a collective bargaining agreement. General Secretary George Goddard Jr. says the union has accepted recommendations made by the acting Labour Commissioner to resolve the matter. But he claims the bank has not done the same. They are not sitting down to negotiate, so that is creating um, tension, uh, uh, a certain amount of tension at the bank, a tension that has been going on now, I must say, um, for well over a year, and that cannot be healthy for the industrial relations situation in the country. The NW claim stocks are also being held up by the bank's objections to five conditions within the proposed collective bargaining agreement. The union wants an audience with Gregor Braffitt to iron out this and other issues. The financial institution denies it is engaged in stall tactics. The country manager blames scheduling conflicts for the failure for the parties to meet and hammer out a deal. I was on vacation at the time. I came out for the meeting and the union did not turn up. The Labour Commissioner then set the meeting for October the 20th. NWU appealed to the bank for us to go to the Labour Commissioner to see if the meeting could be brought up earlier. We did go um, and the Labour Commissioner responded and said that the Minister was out on vacation and conflicting other schedules and that he would refer to us. It was only yesterday that we got word that the meeting has been brought up to October the 13th. The acting Labour Commissioner says he remains neutral in the matter, but also cites difficulties with finding a suitable date to schedule a meeting with bank officials and union representatives. Braffitt is optimistic the October meeting will take place as planned. Every time we schedule the meetings, somebody always has something to do. And uh, bearing in mind that the scheduling took place during the summer vacation, a number of persons um, had to go on vacation. We had um, the time to reschedule and the National Workers Union representative could not make it and we had to reschedule. Then there was a time when management um, could not have made it and then there's another time when the minister could not have made it. RBC workers first staged protest action in April demanding the start of negotiations on a collective agreement. Later, the NWU called on the Labour Department to intercede for a speedy resolution. The two sides were set to meet following the acting Labour Commissioner's recommendations that were made in July. That meeting, which has yet to take place, has now been rescheduled for October 13, 2009.